Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Hetty. It is Tuesday, early afternoon. <clears throat> And, uh, of course, kind of chilly across the Central Plains. Uh, today, we're going to look at the hot spots. We're going to look at severe threat for later this week. And then again, early next week, we are right on track with the pattern. And, of course, uh, I, I put the long range on these videos quite a bit. And we've been watching April, late March and April coming. And we know that April is going to be a pretty active month. Of course, want to give a huge shout out to my boys, Superior Roofing and Construction. They're a four-state premier roofing contractor family owned and operated right here joplin missouri 7th and high street uh, they did my roof uh last fall of course heading into severe weather season keep their number handy it's right there on your screen because we are going to get a lot of wind events and also hail events uh as we go through the next couple months so let's go ahead let's jump into it hope you're having a great tuesday so far trash means outside it's a little loud I never know when they're going to come. Sometimes they come at 8 a.m. on Tuesday. Sometimes they come at 4 p.m. So I never know when to get the trash out. All right, so let's jump into this. Let's see what's going on. All right, so most of uh, the four-state area is pretty calm. We had some showers, a couple snowflakes late last night into the morning hours. That system is now rolling across the eastern parts of the U.S. Most of the U.S. is pretty quiet today. We do have some thunderstorms in the southeast. So we're looking uh, kind of Panama City over toward Jacksonville, Savannah, getting into some showers and thunderstorms. Shout out to Jeremy Nelson down there in Savannah. And then we can look west because here's our next storm system. You can see a whole bunch of nothing. This is our weather the next couple days. And then right on track, here's our next storm system moving into the Pacific Northwest. And this is going to affect the Central Plains late Thursday, Thursday night, Friday, and then push to the eastern third of the country as we head into the weekend. So let's dive in. Let's see what's going on. All right, so our hot spots. This is going to be for Thursday into Friday. So these are our severe threats. Um, Thursday's interesting because this system is going to be highly capped. We talk about the cap all the time in the spring. It's a warm layer of air aloft. So the storms build. They hit that warm air and they just stop. And they say, yeah, we're done. We're not building anymore. When that cap breaks, storms can build up. And then that's when you get the bigger storms. So I'm going to put just a very low threat for severe weather. Thursday, right through central Oklahoma, northern parts of Texas, because I don't think much is going to get going. I think it's going to be very late Thursday, mainly after midnight, as the system presses east. Uh, I think that's where we're going to see a little bit more of a severe threat. So let's go into Friday. This severe threat advances east, and the upper level low and the surface low is going to track way up into eastern parts of Iowa. So I'm going to do a moderate threat from about Springfield up to Kurtzville, um, let's say the Quad City, St. Louis, Memphis, Little Rock, Jonesboro. Uh, biggest tornado threat on Friday is going to be eastern Iowa, western Illinois, maybe even northeastern parts of Missouri. Once we get into central Missouri, southern Missouri, down through parts of Arkansas, this is mainly going to be a wind maker, so hail and wind. Uh, Kansas City, Joplin, we're kind of on the western edge. We're going to get some thunderstorms Friday morning, but if anything was severe, it's probably just going to be uh, very low grade severe. Uh, some gusty winds, a little bit of hail. So this, it's, it's kind of weird. The timing of the system is going to put the bigger severe weather just east of us. If this system would slow down a hair, it would move that uh, threat a little bit farther west, which is a possibility. So we'll have to keep our eyes on that as we go into Friday. So let's break down the next few days. All right, for us this afternoon, chilly. Look at this. 52 in Joplin, 53 in Wichita, 62 in Fort Smith, only 50 in Kansas City. But a cold night tonight. We've dropped back low to mid 30s, near freezing Springfield, Joplin. Uh, so we could have a little bit of freeze West Plains. Everybody else kind of hovers right above freezing. Southerly winds return on Wednesday, meaning warmer temperatures. Uh, 67 in Tulsa, 64 in Oak City, 68 in Fort Smith, up to 59 in Kansas City. So we start to warm back up closer to where we should be for this time of the year. Here comes Thursday, a lot of mid, a lot of upper level clouds spread in. And you can see 4.30 p.m., a couple of those thunderstorms trying to pop up central Oklahoma, but they just have a hard time because it's capped, which we just talked about. So it's very hard to get those thunderstorms going. But if one or two could bust through the cap, we could get some hail makers out across central Oklahoma. But right now, that's not looking like the best possibility. 
Let's go into Thursday night. Those scattered thunderstorms kind of press east. So here's 2 a.m. Friday morning. Just nothing really getting going because it doesn't look like we're going to get through that cap. As we continue into Friday morning, finally showers and thunderstorms kind of erupt from Joplin to Kansas City, even Tulsa. But again, I don't think these are going to be very big storms. I think the bigger severe threat is going to be Friday afternoon. So from eastern Iowa, where the surface low is, western parts of Illinois, down through central Missouri, and then once you get to West Plains, Little Rock, Texarkana, these are all a line of storms. So wind-making uh, storms as they push through. Okay, so that, that's kind of the way it's looking for Friday. Now, in the pattern, the LRC slash Eddy pattern, um, is, is, so we, we knew we were going to have two big systems right at, the break, right at the beginning of April and then into the first week. So this is actually the first system, even though it's coming in on March 31st and April 1st. The second system comes in early next week. So let's look at it. We clear out as we go through the weekend. Uh, the weekend looks pretty good across the region. We're going to go all the way into Monday. We have a front that slides in. The question of how far south this front is. But this is going to give us chances for thunderstorms. And these types of setups are kind of uh, hail makers. But as we get into Tuesday and the upper level low kicks out, this is when we could go back to all modes of severe weather. Uh, so I, I really want to watch the next Monday and Tuesday as well as it gets interesting. Uh, tonight when I'm at work at KOAM, um, of course I'll be there 5, 6, 9, and 10. Remember you can catch us on the Skywatch weather app as well. I will go through the long range forecast and then tomorrow on our weather savants video we'll break down, because we're almost in April, we'll break down our severe weather events for April. All right guys, if you have any questions, comments, leave it in the comment section below. I hope you have a great Tuesday afternoon. We will chat tomorrow.